So now with the valve thoroughly flushed, remove the installation nuts. Remove the padding from around the finished wall. And insert the cartridge. These cartridges are not color coded, so you have to look into each one of the installations to make sure that the mounting pins fit the mounting pins inside the cavity. The mounting pins are located at approximately 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock on the inside of the, the cavity. Next, we installed the nuts, hand tight, and then using your best judgment, do not over tighten these nuts. This is probably the most important part of the whole installations. Over tightening of the nut can cause a stiff handle on the diverter and on the thermostatic control. So we only want to turn that one quarter turn. With the cartridges installed, now open up the hot and cold stops to their full open position and check for any leaks on the cartridges and on the housings. I suggest that the screws are either all the way open or all the way closed. Don't leave them in between. And once you get to this point, I would open up one side or the other to make sure that you've got water running through the valve. Once we've got that confirmed, we're ready to install the trim.